Hey y'all. All right. So let's start with the medical crap. Um, so I told you a little bit about what is going on, but I needed to have the blood work, the scans done, everything like that. And I think I told y'all about what they finally found on this not part of my stomach. I have an enlarged uh, liver and enlarged spleen. I don't know what to do, they're going to do next, because I fired my gastro doctor. And they got to get me a new one. But I have every right to do that because I've never, never have had a doctor that does not examine their patients. He does not touch patients. That's why they, they are like, well, you can either go through phone call or you can come to the office. Either way, he does phone calls most of the time. But I live like down the street, so I go. But he's never checked me out. He just puts... On this day, ah, uh, we're gonna send you for this test, this test. Uh, hey, you know what? Start taking this med. And it was not getting me anywhere. Um, so my personal doctor went to poke it and prod it in there, and she's like, I think I'm gonna send you for an ultra ultrasound or, or a uh, sonogram. I don't remember which one it is. And so we did that, and we knew, she knew pretty quickly that, uh, Things were not good in there. Well, fast forward to yesterday. I had to go into the emergency room because, as you can probably tell, I felt horrible. I was just sweating buckets. I felt gross and horrible. And I felt a little whiny. And I'm not whiny. And uh, hot stuff goes, maybe you should go. Because he had just left. He just was fixing to leave to go back to lunch from lunch and he's like I think you really do need to go and I was like I know but what if it's a waste of time he said sweetheart what's your gut say and I said I think I should go because what if it is something that needs to get nailed down you know because this is not cool I cannot breathe and I and I know and a lot of you say it's just a stopped up nose but with the the mouth thing that's feels like I'm sucking on sandpaper. I have to breathe out my mouth, which makes the mouth even worse. And then I have to get a drink just to talk. And that's fixing to happen because it's... Anyway, long story short, I am battling COVID and strep throat. Yeah, yeah. Somebody who rarely leaves their house. So, yeah. I was like, you might want to go pick up my waters. I like those because they're uh, aspartame free. So, anyway, that is what I'm battling. It's been rough. It's been really rough. But, you know, it'll be okay. I'll get through this. And then we're going to clean that church. Because I've noticed a lot of our ladies are coming down sick. And it's flu or COVID. I've got strep. And, uh, you know, I don't think we've ever been asked as a ladies team to clean. You know, we, we've always had a cleaning person, but I don't think they're active anymore. Um, and it's real easy to clean in there. It's super easy because we have stained concrete. So we can just use whatever we need to on there. I personally swear by the Lysol with hydrogen peroxide in it. That way, it can work like bleach without smelling or horrendous damage. With ble You know what I'm saying? It's bleach alternative. It's not bleach. And a lot of doctor's offices and nursing homes that I've worked in, the cleaning crew would use uh, that kind of method of hydrogen peroxide and Lysol. Because it does really work. So, anyway... I have been winging this uh, Grady Square cardigan because it called for like almost 200 squares for my size. It ain't happening. So I just, I've been trial and error and a lot of error because I didn't write down what I did and I got to repeat it to the other side. <laughs> anyway, so 
like I said, and I've showed you this already. Like I said, this is this is bad when you need a baby blanket for just the back side of your jacket. I just hope it fits. I really uh I don't know what I'm gonna do if it don't. I think it should, but I don't know. I don't know. Being this big ain't cute. I don't know. But here's what I want to show you. You ready? I have watched a lot of YouTube channels to, to kind of piece it all together and get where I'm going. Because I've never done... Oh my God, y'all. I can't talk. I need to wrap this up. I've never done this. Never. Look at my sleeve. I did a sleeve that tapered. And look at that cuff. Now, most of y'all be like, um, hun, we've already learned how to do that. We're going to the next big thing. And I understand that. But y'all, I've never been able to do this. I've never. I'm excited. I'm so excited. And I'm doing, I, I didn't sew it on wrong. I promise. This side was all gray. So I added some pink and white on this side. This side is all gray. So I will be adding... Wait, no. That ain't right. This side is all pink. So I'll be adding a gray sleeve with a um, white trim. I'm so proud of myself. I really am. And I know it's just a simple thing. I get that. But I've always been self-taught. You know, I didn't have anybody to show me. So, you know, hoping. To... So I was going to work on that today. But our staff calls called me. They was coming home for uh, lunch, and I was like, "Okay." And when he got here, he told me, "Hey, uh, somebody at work needs a baby blanket crochet for them." And I was like, "Okay." Did you give them my card so I can figure out what they want? He said, "Yeah, but they want a a coral baby blanket uh, for their nursery theme or whatever." And I was like, okay, I don't have coral theme. And then I remembered, I have this bad boy. That's almost a thousand yards. Where's that label go? Of course I lose the label. Um, This is a, almost a thousand yards. It is called shrimp. The color is shrimp. I was like, this has to work for this. And I asked, I said, hey, I texted him when he got back to work later. I said, hey, what does she feel about using a white with it? Okay, again, my favorite choice, big twist. And he's like, and I got so proud. He's like, she's seen your work. She doesn't care how you do it. She's going to leave it up to you. I love those kind of commissions where I get free roam to do whatever I want to do. Because there's nothing worse than taking on a commission that I might pay or not pay. I don't know. And being up my butt. Hey, did you get it done today? Hey, how long we're out on this thing? Oh, hey. You know, can you make this stitch on top of that stitch? I hate that. And I, I don't really do a lot of those. And what I mean by paying or not paying is God has given me a gift. And I promised him... I would use that gift. And he promised me he would take care of things. And God has never let me down. He takes care of everything. So, I, I, that's the importance of these cards. Is because I do have my uh, Venmo. Well, I thought I had one I could show you. I have my Venmo code on it. And, uh, so, you know. And I, and I told him, let her, let her, if she wants to pay, say that I only take donations. And then she put it on the Venmo account. So, um, you know, because I, I don't want people to feel like they have to pay, but it would be nice to get a donation so I can get supplies, that kind of thing. But then also, it makes me feel bad for that because... God promised he would take care of everything. That's kind of like trying to micromanage it. And so, I need to be better about that. But, that coral shrimp yarn, 
literally it is called shrimp it is from a discontinued yarn of course i would pick a discontinued yarn <laughs> Uh, Red Heart Bunches of Hugs, 948 yards. They don't make this no more. So, it's going to have to work. And it's going to have to work as is. So, here's what I've got so far. I am... I am using Just Peachy blanket I think that's what I call what's it called just peachy blanket uh I think it's called crochet dreams but not s it uses a z on the end so I wrote down the information but I uh didn't write the name of the person see in their baby blanket that I picked out they're using a five millimeter hook this is worse than weight yarn so I knew that I could easily start with a 5.5 or a 6. So I am using a 6.5. And uh, I've noticed in my crochet groups, everybody is fighting tooth and nail to get cooking sets of clover. I have one clover. I like it, but I'm not about to order a whole set I always I okay I don't always buy it this way but my rule of thumb is I buy what one to test it out because a lot of times I don't use the smaller hooks every now and then if I have to use a smaller hook I use my steel hooks none of these are steel the smallest one I've got on here and these are all my favorites is a 4.4 4 millimeter but you know these are my favorites and these are my extra favorites these are Susan Bates now I did not know they had the little grippy on them but I saw that Joann's and they were sold individually so I jumped all over that because I love my Susan Bates hooks I just do and if I can't find a grippy I don't like I mean I find a grippy I like I get some oven clay mash it on there and then and then squeeze it so it has my perfect hand in it so this one was carved for me i mean i have amazing hooks that i just love now i also have these i have two of these a j and a k so that's what six millimeter 6.5 these are from hobby lobby and i do like them. the only issue is that uh, the, the, the tells you what size they are is worn off. So that's the only downside of that. But I'm really not a big hook set girl. You know what I'm saying? Because it's really not needed. Um, this is like one set that I got because I stuff decided to get me something for my birthday. And I said, I really would like steel hooks so I could do more stuff with it. And uh, so, and these are written with the sizing on them because where's one I've been using really hard? Uh, the, the lettering go, wipes off really easy. Uh, I have, I'm currently making uh another uh, where, where did it go I don't know I'm making another uh, tablecloth type thing so I'm using a 3 millimeter it's upside down 3 millimeter but they, they come off really easy so I've got to be careful but definitely that is why I ask I tell y'all and I tell y'all Grab a composition notebook. Mine are numbered so that I know where I'm, I fall in the sequence of things. This is number two. But you can get these at Walmart after school supplies are done with for like 25 cents. So anytime I get a sale, 
book, you know, 25 cents, 40 cents, I'll grab a couple. I even got them at the dollar store. And these are way more flimsy and not as good, but in the end, they still work. I, uh, you know, I, I have to write stuff down. And, and because otherwise I won't remember stuff because uh, I have long-term memory issues. Y'all know this. But I wanted to show you this one last thing and then I gotta go. <laughs> Is these are all my other hooks. I own two sets of bamboo hooks. I believe one was off eBay set and one was like on Wish, I want to say, when it was back in the day. And then the rest of them, I just buy random hooks on eBay as lots if I see one that might be good. You know what I'm saying? Now, I do have some plasticky ones, and I'm scared to break them. I'm not a tight crocheter, but I'm still kind of nervous about that. I did see, I don't know the quality, but I will make that happen when I have payday hit. I found um, at the R Dollar Tree. Now has miniature diamond paintings. I found crochet hook. Uh, and I found some new stuff that I've never seen in a Dollar Tree. Our Dollar Tree in the craft section is booming. It is so cool how much stuff there is. And, uh, I am just wowed. I am utterly wowed. I'm like, Dollar Tree stepping up their game. And they even have a bougie aisle where stuff starts at $3 up on up higher. I was like, ooh, I'm bougie at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> and I was like, goes, yeah, you would be the one bougie in the Dollar Tree. I hope y'all are doing well. Take care. Enjoy your weekend. I don't know if I'm going to be here or not. Um, I really want to just go lay in bed and go from there. Uh, I will talk to y'all soon. Lots of love. And don't worry. Get some Lysol. You'll be fine. <laughs> Bye, guys.